I have always tried to emphasize that geology, or better yet, the forces that create new rocks while eroding old ones, is continuing today just as much as it ever has. Well, with the exception of those earliest years of the planet's known history, when it was a molten mass being bombarded by asteroids, God is eternal, no beginning and no end. So why would it surprise us that things are continually being reshaped and remade? In the biblical account for us Christians, the earth appears to have been through some type of catastrophe and then God began our known creation in Genesis. And then the Bible speaks of yet again a new heavens and a new earth in the future. So yes, I believe the earth is extremely old and has been likely redone many times and will be so again in the future. In terms of geology then, we cannot put it into the distant past and leave it alone. As we are driving here through the California sand dunes, sand is being moved around and deposited into what will likely be tomorrow's sandstone cliffs in a future landscape. In the related video, Every Rock is a Snapshot, I compare the rocks you and I pick up as random photographs of some distant moment in the geologic past. I really encourage you to watch that video and try to see your rocks that way. To me, it really adds depth and value to the rocks in my collection in terms of their place in deep time and history. If you were to take a picture as you are driving along here, it would likely be of just sand. But if you take enough random pictures, you might eventually capture some interesting image of a tree root in the sand, or a well-sculpted dune, perhaps. So it is, when we go rock hunting, we are trying to find those rare geologic photographs that are clear and depict a unique instant in time and place that we can understand. Again, if you are still watching at this point, you will enjoy that related video and its playlist. I reference there to how Google Street View cameras capture every single angle of everything along the street. That is why you can swivel around, look up, look down, etc. Most of that data is likely worthless. Random glimpses of a car tire, or a pothole, or a cloud in the sky, or the wall of an apartment block. But we can scroll and swivel until we see what we want to see. In the same way, we dig through the beach or riverbank until we find a rock, a photo, that makes sense to us, maybe even showing a clear geologic street number, city, state, zip code, and country. Those are the rocks that make it into our collections. Thank you for coming along and listening to my philosophy when it comes to rocks.